Welcome, welcome. We are here. Yes, we are here to record some more Soul Silver. This is actually my second attempt at recording this part. Uh, that's because my first attempt didn't go so well. So, anyway, let's get going. So we defeated us. Uh, who was it? Sabrina? No, Erica. No, not Erica. Uh, yeah, Erica, Sabrina, and Janine, I think. Koga's uh, granddaughter, who has taken over the poison type gym after Koga became an Elite Four member, and god damn it. Wonderful start. So, <sighs> yeah. Beedoof. Fuck right off, Beedoof. Now, since Cinnabar Island went kaboom, I'm pretty certain the inhabitants of Cinnabar probably went, holy shit! God damn it. Seafoam Islands. You know what? I'm not gonna fucking deal with. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Since we're not gonna be using a four so door for Blaine's gem at all, we might as well use it. Because I'm gonna be real with you, Blaine's gem, especially with an overleveled Frogator, piss fucking easy. As you can guess, Blaine is a fire type gem leader, so. He's basically a joke. Lowell sent out Arcanine. We curb stop him. Yeah, this gym's gonna be piss pretty piss easy. There goes Toko, Torko, Toko, Toko. Magmar. So yeah, um, Waldo, hey, we found him. We found him, guys. It's over. Found Waldo, and he sunned out a nummel. <clears throat> so yeah. Nerd Merle Cargo <clears throat> Yeah, Blaine's probably gonna be the easiest, so I don't really have to say much. He uses fire types, what do you expect? Um if you were using uh Meganium, which first of all, why are you using Meganium? And sec he would be a bit more challenging. And if you were using Typhlosion, well, Typhlosion might not be a, the best match against this guy. Mm. 
But yeah, like, I think, I don't know if I ever actually said this, but, oh hey, Dredon's level 45, neat. Yeah, like, I don't think I ever actually said this, but, um... But when it comes to to Feraligator or the Totodile line, part of the reason why I like the Totodile line so much is because of how versatile he is in comparison to the other two starters. And when it comes to a game like this, I prioritize versatility over badassery. Like versatility over anything else. That and come on, <laughs> little Gator Boy turning into what's essentially a fucking kaiju. You, how can you not like that? Plus, Totodile is objectively better than Wooper, and I will not argue otherwise. Anyway, he starts off. Anyway, here's Blaine. He starts with Macargo, which, uh, yeah, this is just a fucking curb stomp. Yeah, this isn't really much of a fight. But we do have to beat him in order to be able to fight Blue, who will be more of a fight. There's leftovers taken into effect. Gotta love it. Sends out Magmar. Which is kind of weird, because I think Magmar at this point... Yeah, because um, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, I think, were released before this. Uh, Magmar does have an Evolve for alongside Electabuzz and Rhydon. Anyway, his final Pokemon, Rapidash. And I only have one response to this Rapidash. Hydro Pump. Deck. Zap. There we go. And with that, Rex grows to level 78. And we defeated Blaine. That's seven down. One more to go. The Volcano Badge is officially ours! And we get Overheat, a TM he never got the chance to use. But yeah, this is basically Blaine's gem ever since Cinnabar went kablooey. Also, this is also going to be where we're going to have to catch one of the legendaries. Yes, I will be catching some of the legendaries. Notably, I will be catching Suicune. Uh... Moltres, Articuno, and uh, Zapdos. As for Mewtwo, fuck if I know, probably not. Since I think Mewtwo is only catchable in the. like, after you beat Red. If I recall correctly. Anyway, here's Blue. If you want to battle me, from, welcome to Virginia Gym. I'll be waiting for you. What an asshole. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a move on. Boom. All right. One more fight. And that is... Blue. Off to Viridian.
let's buy some four stars since I think we're going to need them uh, do we need any revives? let's get one just in case <laughs> yeah I want to get the gym leaders out of the way first And for those wondering, we're more than likely going to be using Dredon primarily because of Thunder Wave, which will be effective on three of the four legendaries we're going to try and catch. For those wondering if I'm going to try and catch Entei or Raikou, the answer is a hard no. Hard no. Alright, here's Blue's Gym. Yo, legend. <laughs> Floor is unstable. You should put your Pokemon away. Your Pokemon. Yeah, this is the gimmick of the stage. You basically. Lee? Have to figure out the right path. And there's trainers, so. That's easy XP. Arabelle. Tauros. I probably shouldn't have done that. Well then, that was a mistake on my part, using Thrash on a King Stantler. Alright. Hmm. Trying to think. By the way, I know the correct answer to this, I just want to get the XP. <clears throat> Selma. Licky Licky. And there we go. That's Selma. Jinkies, motherfuckers. So let us first heal up for a moment. Because I don't want to waste the full restores. Let's do this again. Let's see. Ellen. Alright, we got double battle. Ellen and Ida. Porygon and Azumarill. Oh, poor Spiny. Oh, poor Spiny. Poor Spiny. Spiny, I am so sorry. Uh. Thrash and pray. Yeah. The thing about Pokemon AI is that they will always target 
the Pokemon they have a type advantage against. Yeah, they will always target the Pokemon they have a type advantage with. Let's try that again. And let's say fuck you to Azumarill. Oh, now you're just asking at this point. That's a Zoomerill. Hey, yay! You fucking dick. Spinda. By the way, fainted Pokemon won't gain any XP. So I might as well just say screw it and go back. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. Alright, now that that's out of the way... Oh my god. There we go. Alright. It's blue. You telling me you conquered all the gems of Johto? <laughs> Johto gems are pathetic. Fuck you, man. Don't you dare underestimate the might of Johto. Alright, blue. So, interesting thing about blue's gem is that Blue's gym, unlike the previous gyms, doesn't specialize in a single type. Instead, Blue's gym specializes in multiple types. As such, it tests your knowledge on the types and weaknesses. For example, Executor, being Grass Psychic, is a, is a little bitch boy. It's a little bitch. When using an ice move like, say, Ice Fang. Never mind then. <laughs> of course, alternatively, if you have other ice moves like Ice Beam or whatever for, for Executor, again, goes down like a chump. Quarter of Demonstratum, and oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Executor is frozen solid. Alright, that's Executor. Executor, I think it's how it's actually pronounced. Dragon Girl level 46. Right on. Easy pickings. By the way, for those wondering why he has an Executor, that's because in Fire Red and Leaf Green, as well as I think the original Red and Blue and Slash Red and Green, uh, depending on the starter you choose, Blue will either have a Gyarados and an Executor, an Executor 
and an Arcanine, or an Arcanine and a Gyarados. And the reason why is because the spot that would be filled up by one of those Pokemon would be filled by the starter. As for Rhydon and Machamp, I don't know how the hell he got either of them. And Thunder Punch. You're a deck of blue. Do me a favor and fuck right the hell off. One more surf should do him. Should do with this right on. Right on. Machamp. Also, can I ask, how the fuck did he get a Machamp? In fact, a lot of these trainers and gym leaders that have, like, Pokemon that require you to trade them, how the hell did they even get them? Alright. That's Machamp. Next is, I believe, Pidgeot, I believe. No, Arcanine. Using Intimidate. That sucks. Hydro Pump. <laughs> Not like it matters. Because I'm like, what, 20 levels higher than his Arcanine? So there's that. Boom. There he goes. Alright. Who's next? Pidgeot. Which means he's saving Gyarados for last. Pidgeot is level 60, so he's definitely stronger than his previous mons. Not like it's really saying that. And why does he have. Why does Pidgeot have a citrus berry? Whirlwind. Oh, you dick. Well then, uh, since... Thunder Wave. To Paralyze. Let's get Rex out. Holy shit! Paralyzed and can't move. By the way, one thing I will say that I don't know how I feel about this when it comes to Pokemon, but um, status ailments do not stack with a very with very few exceptions. Like confusion can stack with other status ailments, but like you can't stack poison and paralysis together. Super effective, and there goes Pidgeot. Ay ay ay. All right. That just leaves Gyarados. Discount. Discount Seedramon. It's Walmart brand Seedramon. That's what I'm calling Gyarados now. And I only have one response. Thrash. Get absolutely fucked Gyarados. Thrash again. One more will do the trick. And he goes confused as soon as I say that. Well, since he's likely going to use a full restore after this, I might as well respond in kind. As predicted. And let's try this again. Let's go for a three fur. That's number one. Heal up. Using my turn again. Number two. 
One more. Come on. One more. More thrash. Come on. God damn it. I think he only uses three forest orders, and since he used one on his executor, he used two on his Gyarados, so he won't be using any more. Critical hit. And just like that... That is all of the Kanto gym leaders. The real power of Jiao Tao. No way. How the heck did I lose to you? Fine. I right, take this shit and get out of my face. It's the Earth Badge. You received the Earth Badge. Also, you can use the HM Rock line. And we got the TM Trick Room. And with that, that is every single Kanto Gym Leader. Done. We did it. So, with that, um, the fuck? Professor Oak, what the fuck do you want? Professor Oak has something for us. You want to bet that it's uh, rock line? I think it's rock line. I need healing. Good to see you. Here's what I want to give you. HM08. The final HM. Which is Rock Line. Meaning, you saw all those rocky surfaces? Well, we can now access those. And now we have access to Mount Silver, the final area of the game. Plus, at this point, we can also refight the Elite Four. However, I will not be doing that on camera, uh, because fuck me, they kicked my ass when I actually did that shit. Yes, I did it in heart gold. But let's head back to Viridian, heal up our team. and make our way to Mount Silver. And then we'll call it a part here. So yeah, we're almost done with Soul Silver. Holy shit. We're almost done with the post game for Soul Silver. God damn. God damn. It's hard to believe. Like I said, once this playthrough is done, that'll be one of three Pokemon games done. <laughs> Badass music for fucking Radita. Let's fix that, shall we? Yeah, let's fix that, shall we?
So yeah, Mount Silver. Here we are. Final area of the game. And with that, we'll call it a part. Let's take a good look. Look at that. All, all 16 badges. 16. And with that, I say we call it here. Next time on Soul Silver, we will be dedicating a few parts to catching legendaries. There he is. In the meantime, I'll try to level grind off screen. Hopefully, I actually remember to do that. But until then, if you enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe and check out my non gaming related stuff. Link in the description down below. And until then, I'll see you all at another time. Bye.